One of the worst things about owning an electric vehicle, and probably put a lot of people off the prospect of owning an electric vehicle, is the use of public charging networks. There's so many different ones scattered all around the country. You need a different app or you need a different card. And basically it's just a complete nightmare. Well, maybe something like this from Octopus Energy is gonna help change all that. It's the electric juice network, one card, one bill, many networks. So I had my Octopus Energy electric juice card come through the post the other day and I'm going to try it out today but I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about it before I head out into the car and drive somewhere to see if it does kind of what it says on the tin. Before I get started, if you are a Tesla owner you're probably sat there saying, not my problem Dale, I have a Tesla and I can use the supercharger network and none of this matters to me whatsoever. And why I agree with you that the Tesla supercharger network is amazing and probably one of the best selling points about owning a Tesla. I used to have one uh, up until just a, a couple of months ago, but still there are certain places that you travel to that there aren't Tesla superchargers and you have to use the public charging network like everyone else. So I still think this is something that's important, something that is good that Octopus Energy are starting to do this uh, and hopefully they can get more and more people partnered with them over time just to make owning and using the public charging network a lot easier so most people will park uh, and charge at home if they have a driveway but not everyone has that they have to kind of park in the street and use uh, charging networks and i haven't done an exact count of how many different cards and different apps that you need but i think it's well over 20. i'm not a massive user of public charging networks but i've had polar cards new motion cards bp cards plug share cards all different stuff so it is handy that hopefully in the future can consolidate some of this into the electric juice network. So right now, at the time of doing this video in early November, it's already increased a little bit since I got the card, there are a few partners that Oculus Energy has signed up with. So we have different providers that both have on-street and destination charging. So they have Chargy, Osprey, uh, the Franklin Energy, guys, Hubster, Plug and Go and Alpha. So they're the current charging partners that they have where this card is gonna work or you can just go to that charger and if it's enabled, you say you're gonna obviously charge and you want it to get built to Octopus Energy. You don't have to be an Octopus Energy customer currently to get one of these. You can sign up just to have the card and have that one central place for your billing. If you are an Octopus Energy customer, it's even easier. You just get the card, it's linked to your electricity and gas account and it all gets added to that same bill. So it makes even more sense. I will do a little plug as always with Octopus Energy. I've been with them a couple of years. I still think they're a great energy provider. I think they're kind of leading the way in some of the kind of more sophisticated tariffs, especially if you are an electric vehicle owner, you have solar panels and whatnot. So consider moving to them. I think you're probably gonna save some money and hopefully get better customer service. There's a link in the description. You'll get 50, 50 pounds added to your bill as, as credit and I'll get 50 pounds added to my bill as credit. So everyone is a winner and it's uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna go and try this out and see if it works as it does. Um, I think there is some chargers not too far from here that are on the Osprey network. I think they're the uh, Ngenie network, I think it is, but we'll see. And hopefully I should be able to go up there, present the card and it will charge and then that will go onto my Octopus Energy bill. In terms of kind of rates and fees, I don't think there's any preferential rates or anything to people using the electric juice network, but that's fine because it doesn't look like you're gonna get charged anymore either. This is just all about simplifying and improving just how easy it is and basically just trying to simplify the EV charging experience for everybody. So that's it. Easy access to chargers, easy access to pay for them. And we're finished up this video, hopefully with me successfully getting a charge on my wife's Nissan Leaf from one of these kind of charging places.
Okay, so I'm here and it is one of these Osprey chargers, which is great. Um, so 50 kilowatts DC charging here, CCS and CHAdeMO. So it's going to be CHAdeMO that we are using. Also realize this is the first time ever doing a fast charge or rapid charge in my wife's Nissan Leaf. It's never had rapid charging before. So one thing to keep in mind, I'm not interested in the speed of this charge because we're definitely not optimal of 84% charged already. This is really just to see how easy it is to use the Juice Network card, which I need to find out where I put it. Here it is in uh, this lovely little cork RFID wallet I also have from Octopus Energy. So let's try it out and see if it works. And if it does, That was super straightforward. <laughs> so literally turn up, plug it in, put the card there, recognize with the RFID, and then the charging starts. I think it was 36 pence a kilowatt, so not too bad. I still think, again, you're only using these things if you need to. It works out to be much cheaper to charge at home. I'm only getting 18 kilowatts because the cars are 85% already. And that just kind of off a little tangent. I'm still really impressed with this it's only 40 kilowatt. It is really pretty good. It, regards to the weather, seem to get about 3.9 to 4 miles per kilowatt. So, or kilowatt hour. Uh, so, I hope this video helped. Definitely, if you have an electric vehicle, whether you're an Optimus Energy customer or not right now, definitely get one of these cards. And I think the more people that get them, it's going to give Octopus more, you know, buying power, I guess, hopefully to negotiate deals with more of the charging networks and yeah it just makes life a lot easier if you own an electric vehicle and you need to charge using public charging infrastructure so good job octopus energy i like what you're doing as always in these videos please leave a thumbs up it really helps get these videos more noticed if you've got one of these cards also let me know in the comments below how well it's working for you if it's not working uh, any feedback any questions any comments and again if you're looking to save some money and get green electricity, then consider joining Octopus Energy for your gas and electricity. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.